Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another wonderful morning session of prayer. Your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home, your heartfelt concerns, and it's just between you and God. I, I just get you to go into a position and then I begin the prayer, but you must finish it, your own heartfelt concerns, and you'll be amazed at at how it heals your mind and your body. So we'll begin with me saying my prayer. I thank you, God, for this wonderful method of prayer of each of us doing body movements to heal our bodies while our prayers heal our minds, our spirits, and our souls. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga. Om. Now we're going to say our Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer, if you'll repeat after me. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to your love, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fear as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. These moments I can share with my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is, Amen. Aum. Now we're going to try to clear our minds of fear. We do this with a, a simple arm motion, kind of making a big circle. Um, but fear is the enemy of love. You can't be terrified of somebody and, and still be loving them truly with your heart. So uh, we try to get rid of our fears a couple of times in the Sacred Heart Yoga. And this time we do it with an arm motion and it's called clearing our energy fields. Our right arm goes up to the 12 o'clock position. It goes over to the right side to the three o'clock position, our right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me, beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love your light, O oh God. Oh. Now, we start our, this is where you'll finish the, all the prayers if you have anything to add on your own. 
and uh, it should be your heartfelt concerns. Um, we're going to ask God, how may we serve you this day? And and don't be worried. I, the answer usually only comes to me in just one or two words at most. Uh, sometimes it's a heartfelt feeling. Sometimes it's nothing, but I'll still incorporate whatever comes to me in, in the rest of my prayers. And always, by the time I'm done, I understand what I'm supposed to know and do or whatever this day. So we take our right hands over our hearts, and here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Oh. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We stand straight and tall, put our arms at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Now we're going to sing the word Amen aloud three times. Saying the word Amen three times was how oaths were sealed between people or people and God. So we're going to sing it aloud. Any tune that feels right to you has whatever pitch, frequency, whatever you want. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mats and lay down on our backs. And we're going to get into resting position, which is putting our arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. And here we pull our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Um. Now we hold our left, our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, and our right arm goes straight up above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God. My true Father, I love you, and I thank you for. Oh. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, take our left arm and extend it straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you. And I thank you for. Um. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for. Um. Now we let our right foot fall out to the right side of our bodies. Our arms get outstretched to the sides, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for. Oh. Now we turn our heads to the right. Our right leg goes up over across our bodies over to the left side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position. This time we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands and our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh. 
Aum. Now we take our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat. Our left arm gets extended straight up over our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Aum. Now we switch hands, we take our left foot in our left hand, hold it down near our pelvis, our right arm gets extended straight above our heads down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let our left leg fall out to the outside, down to the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left foot up towards the heavens and over to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for all. Now we go back to resting position and we are going to, for a second time, try to release our fears and we do this by, we surrender them to God. We'll list them and we'll surrender them to God and list them. So here we take our hands under our sit bones 
lean forward on our elbows and try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, I surrender to you. Um. Now we're going to reach for the heavens with our left hand. And we let it fall over to the right side of our bodies. And we take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder, left elbow, stretching our left shoulder and back farther. And here our prayers begin with. God, through your love, I choose to. Um. Now we take our right hand up towards the heavens, let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, and our left hand comes halfway between our right elbow, right shoulder, stretching it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your love, I can. Oh. Now we go back to resting position and we pull both feet up to our pelvis and let our knees fall out to the sides, down to the mat. And we take, and this forms a tabernacle below our bodies, we form a second tabernacle above our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position, take, lifting them up to about two thirds of the way to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice brimming over with any possible gift we could ever desire, want, or need, as long as we learn, use it to serve God's love. If we don't, if we use it to serve ourselves or gratif self-gratification, we'll just lose it. It'll go away. You just... One day, wake up, and it'll be gone. So here we, our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um. Now
Now we take our hands in prayer position at the tops of our heads down on the mat and this forms a tabernacle over our whole bodies. So here our prayers begin with our elbows fall out to the side and here our prayers begin with God I thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um, now we're going to start the anointing series. We keep our hands in prayer position, and it's called a series because it's four prayers. Our hands are in prayer position the whole while, and then we repeat them a second time. And what we're doing is we're acknowledging God's gifts and thanking God that, for the gifts that he's given us. So we take our thumbs to our foreheads, hands in prayer position the whole while, and our, our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with. God, I bless and I will only use them in service to your love, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we'll point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock position, our arms outstretched in the three o'clock position above our pelvis, and then we move it counterclockwise up towards the heavens at the 12 o'clock position and then down to the mat above our heads at the 9 o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we do those same four prayers a second time, thanking God for gifts he's given us. Take our thumbs to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, 
God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now our thumbs go to our lips and our prayers begin with God I bless and I will only use him in service to your love your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position, and here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our arms out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. So here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for always protecting me, for always keeping me safe. Um. Now we're going to roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Now we're going to extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot will go across our right thigh. Our left arm, our right arm goes around our left knee. Our left arm goes behind our backs for support. We twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. Through your love, O oh God, I desire to.
Now we switch legs, the left leg goes straight out in front of us, our right foot goes across our left knee, our, we hold our right knee with our left arm, our right arm goes behind our backs for support, we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the right, and here our prayers begin with. Will I am, will I am, will I am. God, through your love, I will. Om. Now we get up on our knees. Put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with God, I truly thank you for Now we're going to form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. And we'll put this tabernacle down on the mat in front of us. And we'll lean over in child's pose and put our foreheads in it. And here we're just going to take some time to feel God's love, God's presence in the world around us and feel it healing our bodies. Om. Now we're going to go back to sitting position. Our right leg goes out to the right side. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I will become. Now we take our left foot over to the left side of our bodies. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, 
God, through your love, I am Om. Now we go back to sitting position. And we put our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers. And we sit straight and tall with our back straight and tall. And we bow forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall a second time, and we keep our back straight, bow forward at our pelvis, and here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God of love, my true Father, my true mother, the one, the oneness. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall once again, and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light, pure light of love, of nurturing, of healing, entering our bodies, and it heals our legs all the way down to the tips of our toes. It comes up into our abdomens, filling our abdomens with God's wonderful love. And it comes up through our hearts, making our hearts truly love, feeling God's love, knowing God's love. And it comes up through our lungs where we can breathe in God's love, God's light every moment of every day. And it goes through our arms to the tips of our fingers and up into our throats and into our minds, filling our minds with the peace and God's love and God always watching over us. And it goes out the tops of our heads like a giant light up into the sky as high as we can imagine. And then it fans out in all directions around the whole earth. And God's white light of love rains down upon every living creature there is. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's wonderful blue light of truth, of wisdom, of knowing, of discernment. God's blue light fills our legs to the tips of our toes, comes up, fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. It fills our hearts and our lungs and our arms out to the tips of our fingers. And it comes up through our throats and fills our minds with everything that we could ever possibly need to know and to be in service with God, God's love. So God's truth, God's blue light goes out the tops of our heads like a giant spotlight beacon up as high as we can imagine. Then it fans out in all directions and rains down upon the whole earth. God's truth, God's wisdom, 
God's discernment. Now we can step up into the light above our head and stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But the one thing we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day?